there is this element i mean as a someone who's very passionate about technology that we see how technology is improving people's lives in all places the the access to medical healthcare is not as good as sweden because as you mentioned yeah. in sweden every two years there's uh, a mammography for all women mm. between a, a certain age but in many places in the world that yeah. is in no way whatsoever accessible uh, another recent example of that is for example bill gates through his foundation introduced a ultrasound uh, uh, device that is very mobile mm. and do you think that ai in breast cancer detection can bring that broader sense uh, to uh, breast cancer detection in a global uh, uh, sense so that uh, yeah i mean it's um, so f- there are many uh, aspects here so first <coughs> of all uh, uh, right now 70% or 75% uh, attend screening and the other ones they will not have any benefit from screening because they they do not attend so that's something to work with uh, that is probably does not involve AI to a large extent, but that is something that could improve the situation even even in Sweden, of course. Um, and that is uh, might also be not evenly distributed across uh, you know, income levels and population groups. It might be quite uh, uh, uneven, so that some suffer more than others from that, so to say. And um, yeah, uh, but when it comes to uh, other countries that might have. Uh, maybe less uh, economic resources, for example. Um, I think uh, ultrasound is a, it's quite a good method in a way because it's, you can have a very small devices and uh, I mean, speci- they're becoming smaller and smaller all the time and you can connect it maybe to your smartphone and so on as well. But maybe you want a little bit bigger display to have a good, a good exam. Um, but I've been thinking a long time that it would be nice to have an AI system that makes it possible because it's also hard to have a find radiologists in 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 um, um, some I mean many countries you don't have that many as here, so um, I guess I'll turn this off. Um, so um, so then I think it would be good also to have AI to to assess the image of ultrasound to see if you find something suspicious in the breast but also to have AI, AI to guide the image acquisition. Because if you have a p- handheld probe, um, you can only assess what you see in the images. So it's, ni- it's important to cover the whole area where there could be breast cancer. Uh, so I think you need to have both of those AI-assisted, like image acquisition and image interpretation. And uh, I think that should be totally feasible. Uh, I have... We have not worked with it, but I think, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there are others. And I think there are in, in Lund, uh, um, Malmö Lund, I think they're also working on that. Uh, and I'm sure others as well. So I think that that's a big, that's, that's a very big potential for AI. At the same time, you need to be able to handle what you detect. So you need the whole system afterwards. What do you do then when you detect something? You need to sample it. You need to analyze it. So, you know, you have to put the whole care chain together. Uh, but I think the initial part uh, with the d- like diagnostics or detection, uh, AI can help uh, a lot there. And, and uh, yeah, and uh, combined with mainly ultrasound, I think, because it's, it's portable, it's easy to, to move around. There's no radiation. Uh, um, it's potentially a little bit, I mean, cheaper also to, to buy it and so on. Yeah. So there is this prospect of, at least improving detection very much. The perhaps sad part of that is that the resources for having taking action on that detection still uh, are still a bit further away yeah. uh, in uh, poorer countries with uh, lower economic resources. 